Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to build basic calculator program with console application. Writing simple programs will very much help us in improving our logic. Let's jump into the program. Let's start with printing the message saying welcome to our calculator application. I'll remove this code and I'll write. I'll just simply use the write line method to print the message. Here we are saying welcome to the calculator application. Very simple. We will ask the user to enter his choice. I'll simply print the message. Please enter your choice and I'll give the user four options. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let's save our code. I hope you all know what this write line method does but let me tell you this method writes the message or you can say this method prints the message on your console window console window is where we input our we, we give our input and we can see the output i want this calculator program to run till the user wants to exit so what i will do i'll just print the message saying enter zero to exit the calculator and one to continue to use the calculator so that user will enter either zero or one and I'll close this loop okay now this particular piece of code okay this particular piece of code will keep repeating uh, or keep running until the condition is true first we need to read the choice that the user has entered I will write this is the code that will read the choice from the keyboard and it will store that particular value in the variable called choice and this try pass method returns the boolean and we are storing it in a variable is valid number okay if you don't understand what is happening here don't worry i'll explain you here is the statement that reads the user's choice first first thing is console dot read line method okay method reads the uh, input that the user has entered in the keyboard it will take the input but the thing is this is in a string format but we want the input to be in a integer format so that we can continue with our logics that is the reason we are taking help from try parse method this try parse method is available in the integer class this method takes the string input and converts it to integer value and stores it in the out variable we have named the out variable as choice one more beauty of this try pass method is it will also check for the exception coming back to our program let's write the if condition to check whether the user wants to continue and also uh, he, whether he has entered the correct number or not i'll write the if condition for that here what will happen if the user has entered the valid number and if it is equals to one then this particular piece of code will get executed and all the calculator operation will continue and in the second case what is happening what we are checking is he has entered the valid number but it does not equal one or zero then we will we'll just print the message saying please enter the correct number then this else condition will break the loop and the application calculator application will exit now we will work on our calculator logic see here we have asked the user to enter his choice he will enter any of the numbers one two three or four okay what we will do we will store that number in some variable this line of code will read the input this code is almost same as the code that we have written to read the user's choice the only difference is here we are using the underscore instead of any variable you might be wondering what is it this is called as discard variable okay. this concept has been introduced from c sharp 7 onwards and this is one of the important concepts this kind of concept we use when we really are not interested in the output that any method or something is returning okay we don't want it but just declaring it and not using it anywhere the c, c sharp has given the concept of discard variables so we are using underscore if uh, this has been beautifully explained in microsoft document 
I'll keep the link in the description box. Please go and read this particular concept. Now I will write the if condition to check whether the user has entered the correct number. We want it to be any of the numbers from 1 to 4. So I'll write the if condition. If the number entered is not between 1 to 4, then I will print the message saying please enter the correct number. Inside this if block, I'll ask the user to enter the numbers and store those numbers in some variable. Now what I will do, I will write the methods to handle addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. See, here we have different methods. If you look at these methods, they look a little different because I have used the concept of expression bodied methods. They are nothing but if your method has got only one statement, then instead of enclosing the statement inside the curly braces, write them in this format. They as expression bodied methods. Uh, again, this has been beautifully explained in Microsoft document. I'll leave a link in the description box. You can go ahead and read. Now I will write the switch statement and call the methods. If if the option entered is 1, then the addition method will be called. If it is 2, then the subtraction, 3, multiplication, 4, division, default is break. Then statement I am calling the print result method and it will print the, see I will show you, it will print the result on the console window. The program is completely ready now. I will just run the program and show you the output. It is building now. See, build is succeeded. We have a console window. See, welcome to the calculator application. Enter 0 to exit the program, 1 to continue to use the program. I will enter 0. See, what I will do? I'll run it again. This time, I will enter 1. I'll choose the addition operation. Enter the first number, second number, we have output here. I will continue again and this time I will choose subtraction. I will enter first number as 100, second number as 50, we have output. Now it is time to test our multiplication, I will enter 3. Yeah, I got a message, please enter the correct number because the instruction was to enter 0 or 1 to continue to use the calculator. I entered 3 which is a wrong number, so it is asking me to enter the correct option. See, our logic is working perfectly fine. I will enter 1 and this time I will choose multiplication that is 3. First number 40, second number I will choose 20. And the result is 800. Now again continue. This time I will choose division. This time what I will do, I will enter the smaller number as first number 50 and second number 100. I just want to show you the decimal output. Mm -hmm. See, we have a result 0 0.5 and our calculator is working perfectly fine. Let's just summarize the content. Here simply we are printing the message, uh, welcome to the calculator. Then here while loops job is to repeat the calculator program till the user wants to exit. Then if condition to check whether the user has entered the valid number or not. We are asking the user to enter his choice. Again if condition which will check if the value entered lies between 1 to 4. Then switch statement which will call one of the methods based on the user's choice. These are the methods which will perform the basic operation like addition, subtraction, division and multiplication and the print result method to print the message. That's all in this program. I hope you understood the content. If you still have any doubt, please don't hesitate to comment. Thanks for your time. Do subscribe to my channel for more such videos.